Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a room tour with you guys. So we're just going to start right in with this. So I'm going to back up a little bit right now. You're just looking at the top of the dresser that you guys always see in my videos. So I'm going to back up a little bit so you can start seeing the room as you'd walk into it. I'm not sure if you realize it or not, but when you walk into my room, there's a dorm, a door here, not a dorm, a door here. And then also behind that, there's another doorway. So this room has two entrances. This area that we're into right now is actually like a hallway. So this air, this little hallway here leads to both of my boys' rooms. So then you can walk into the beauty room from this way or the other way, whichever way you come into it. So as you come in here, you can see the dresser. So the dresser on top has some lipsticks as well as some fall decor. I did make this little pumpkin here. I think the pumpkin turned out so cute. It's supposed to be like a Cinderella coach. I think it looks like a Cinderella coach. Some people have said that it looks like Stitch, but I think it looks like Cinderella coach. It's okay, either way. And then back behind here, as you can see, there are some lipstick products. I have them on this little tower. I don't know what this tower is called. I purchased it off of, I think Poshmark. <laughs> I think that's where I got it from. But these came out a long time ago and they were like $99 and I was like not about to pay that much for a lipstick tower. So I waited and got mine on sale. Then behind that is the little lamp that you guys always see in the video. And above the lamp is a little picture. It's just a little lipstick picture. And then over back down, here's a little piggy bank. And in this piggy bank is what I do with it is every time I do laundry, if I find any money in the laundry, it goes right in there. So it's my little stash of cash. And then over here are some more lip products, including my Louis Vuitton. I love that lipstick. The packaging is just absolutely amazing. Um, and then down inside of this little glass container here is some more lip products, but they're mostly like lips, like glosses and stuff. And then of course we're back over to the pumpkins. So the pumpkins again, I love my pumpkin. I think it turned out so cute. I can't wait to do my decor for the holidays for like Christmas and stuff. So I'm excited about that. Over in this pumpkin, I added a little, <laughs> it's a little crown. I think it's cute. I have another crown that I'm going to put on the other one, but I just haven't brought it home to put it on there. And then if you look over in this corner, it is a bunch of perfume. So you can go all the way up. It's like a tower. So this goes all the way up and there are a bunch of perfumes on here. Let me see if I can zoom you guys out a little bit so you can see a little better. So there's a bunch of perfumes. I just think this tower works really cute to display the perfumes and I have it kind of lit up. I like, I love lighting. So you'll probably see a lot of different kinds of lighting in my room. I just love lighting. So down here, more perfumes. And then we have our little plug-in from Bath and Body Works, more perfumes. And then there's our sample Sunday container. So that is just in the corner. There are tons of perfumes in this corner, which like I said, I think it's just a cute way to display them. So now we're back over to here. So down to the dresser. In this dresser is nothing but eyeshadow palettes. So in the very bottom drawer here, let's see if we can get you guys down to it. Right here at this bottom drawer is all the new eyeshadow palettes. So these are like the newer ones that I've only tried like once or maybe I haven't tried them at all. So this is everything that's new that I need to test out. So yay. So this is when we'll be shopping this my stash. And there's more in these. So again, this whole thing is filled to the brim with eyeshadow palettes, which is ridiculous, honestly. I don't know what I was thinking. Then over here, you guys have probably seen this in the video as well. This is just like a little lamp. But this lamp has a hidden little feature. The lamp actually is a heater, so it will turn on and heat your room up if your room is a little chilly. That's what I like about it. I love my room is nice and toasty. The only thing is it's a little loud, so I don't turn it on when I'm doing videos. And then now we're back up to the dresser. Now we're moving over to the door. Here is this cute little wreath. I purchased this from Joanne Fabrics. I was going to make one myself for this room, but the materials that I wanted to use to make this, which is everything that's on here, cost more than the wreath itself did. I think it was like $13 I paid for this. I was like, um, yeah, I'll just buy it. It's just cheaper and easier. Now we're moving over to the vanity, which is over here. I have my big old Yeti cup full of some fruit punch and then up on top are some little pictures some little sayings so I just I want to do something different there I'm just not sure what I want to do yet then back down into the dresser you'll see I have a little iPad set up here and the iPad is basically because I like having the ability to watch YouTube videos and do my makeup so then on top of here is a another little t well not, not not another but a tower so here's a tower 
this is actually a couple things stuck together. So this one here is called the, I think it's called the beauty box. Let's see. It's right here. The original, yep. The original beauty box. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says the original beauty box. And inside of this store is just some more things that I want to be making videos on. So those are things you'll probably see in upcoming, upcoming videos. And then here's like concealers and primers for your eyes. And I have some pencils in here if I need to take notes of anything. And then we have more eye products. So like eyeliners, we have brow products. Then up through here is where you're going to get to like the subscription drawer. So here's Ipsy, here's BoxyCharm, and then here's our sample Sunday stuff. And just some brush cleaner right here. And I keep a little notebook, which I'm supposed to be writing everything down from Sample Sunday, but I'm really terrible at it. So now we're back over to this way, and you'll see that I have a bunch of brushes and these cute little cups. These cups came from Target. I think they're really cute. I think they're like $7 a piece, which I think is a good deal. Then I have some little things that I use pretty often over here. So I have some setting sprays as well as some brush cleaners and some SPF, the Ulta SPF. Then we have a couple lip products down into the store here, a little container. And then we have this mirror. This is called the Amiro mirror. I think it's what it's called. Don't mind my appearance. I look like doo-doo, but that's all right. And then this is what the mirror looks like. It turns on like when you, like if you wave in front of it. So if you're standing in front of it, it'll turn on. And then we've got, <coughs> excuse me, we've got beauty blenders right here. So our, our beauty sponges, they're not all beauty blenders. They're just sponges into this giant ball mason jar. And then I have a Real Techniques one sitting on top of this cute little acorn. So that is in there. And then over here, if you move my Yeti cup, inside of here is more lip products. So I can get to them pretty easily. And then I have some wet wipes down in here for if I want to take swatches off, which if they're not closed, that's not very smart. Then in here is just some hair products like hair ties as well as my color switch. And then if you move down to here, You'll see my chair that I sit in. This is the chair I sit in when I film. I love this blanket I found. I think it's so cute. I think this is such a pretty blanket as well as the pillow. That pumpkin and the blanket itself. I just love the colors. And then, so let's pull the chair out. So if you pull the chair out down inside of here, you'll see there's where I keep my stash of empties. As well as right there in that basket, that is all of my Ipsy bags. So that's like four years worth of Ipsy bags, which is a ton. We've got a lot of cords back there, so. Then over here, we have my drawers full of makeup. We have blush singles. We have highlighter palettes, blush palettes. And here is actually primers, but I don't have it marked yet. I need to do that. I can't find my label maker. Then we have eyeshadow singles. And then moving on to the other side, we have highlighter singles. So there's highlighters. Then we have contour and bronze. We have lipstick. Then we have a drawer full of backups so down here is backups and then we have more brushes so here's extra brushes and stuff like that brush cleaners so we've got a ton of stuff in there so now moving back up that is that area right there so let me push the chair back in real quickly okay then over here you're going to see I have this cute little stand I purchased at Michael's I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it right now right now I just have like a notebook sitting in it as well as some camera equipment so I've just got that sitting there and then up here, you'll see my umbrella lighting. That is what I use for videos, as well as this kind of, you think it's like decor, but it's actually not decor. Let me see if I can turn it on for you. The umbrella lighting might turn on as well because I've got them both hooked up. So yeah, so that's what I use for extra lighting in the room when I'm filming. It's just kind of like hidden. So it looks like decor, but it actually is just extra lighting. And there's me and my beautiful self right now. And then here on the side here, I have this little plastic or rubber thing that I use to hold my hot tools in after they've been used so I don't burn my house down which is really awesome don't want to burn my house down then we've got this giant container here and this has more like facial sprays and different types of like skincare and stuff in it as well as q-tips and then we have some products this is actually camera equipment and then we have some products in here that I use I want to try this out I've tried it once but I'm not so sure about it yet then I have some giveaway products here as well as a whole lot of hemp products that I want to share with you guys. This table here, I actually changed it. I put a different, I put like that paper on it to make it give it the effect of like, what is that? Marble? <laughs> I couldn't think. Marble effect. And then over here we have a small little ring light. So this one can be used like if you 
say for example I want to do a video somewhere else then I have an extra ring light and out here is where the actual daylight comes in which there's no daylight right now it's nighttime while I'm filming this so there's no daylight for us um, but the little ring light let me see if I can show you how that one works I think I okay so yeah there's that one cuts on it's pretty bright honestly it's got a really bright bulb to it so and then in here is all lip products and then up here is like SD cards and then I love this stuff right here. This stuff is so amazing. It really does help my lips and my hands, both of which are, it's really good for both. Then we have lip products. This top opens up, so you'd have to pull this off to open the top. I keep hand sanitizer because I love to make sure that my hands are clean before I do anything on my skin. Then we just have some extra lip products down inside of here. More lip products. And then here is the camera that I record with. So when I'm recording my videos, this is the position I'm usually sitting in right here. I keep my road mic down from it. If I put my road mic up near the actual ring light, it causes a humming sound to come through the videos. And I don't know why, but it just does. So I'm just like, heck with it. I'll just keep it down like that. Here's an extra mirror. So if I need to do like a get ready with me, I have a mirror right here. This one lights up as well. So I told you guys, I've got tons of lighting in here. And then in this drawer right here, is all like headbands for like if I want to do a mask video. We have some little towels, like if I have to wipe my hands off. We have these little razors, which some of these, they, some work and some don't. Like some want to stay open and some are, like this one doesn't want to stay open. I have no idea why they do that. So anyway, that is just kind of like stuff for masking and swatches and whatever. Then we have this giant cabinet right here, right beside of this table. And I'm always telling you guys that, that my, my uh, fingernail polishes are right above it. So here are all of my nail polishes. So the nail polishes are on this rotating rack. So this rotating rack just completely goes around. And I've got them kind of sorted by color, but they're not perfect. So I've decided if it doesn't fit on this rack, then I'm not keeping it. So I recently decluttered a bunch of nail polishes because there was no point in keeping a bunch of them if I can't use them. So, and if they didn't fit. And then inside of here, this little basket here is just nail treatments. So I put all my nail treatments inside of there. And then over here we have another one of those shelves that go down the side with more perfumes in it. Sorry if it's a little dark, um, but that's just more perfumes and my little beauty blender thing that I had before. And then we have another mirror on the back of this door here. This door is not a closet. It's like where our hot water heater goes, so that's in there. Then I have my camera bag, so if I need to take my camera with me somewhere, there's my camera bag. And then if you open this cabinet, it's not super organized, but it's, it's semi-organized. So on top is like camera equipment as well as inside of this box. I keep all the cards and letters that you guys send me. I keep them all in here. And then we have camera equipment as well as this is a, another type of printer, not printer, but a label maker. But it's not the one that I normally use. So I cannot find the one I normally use. I don't know what I've done with it. Then in this caboodles container, it's all hair products, like hair ties, like barrettes and stuff, which things are just kind of sticking out everywhere. It's like haphazardly sticking out. Then we have more hair, like uh, this is like sham not shampoo, but like dry shampoo and like hairspray and stuff. And then down here, just some extra things. So if you close that door and then we're going to open the other side. This side's a little more organized, not completely organized. This is all hair tools. So like your hair dryer, your hair, like heating tools, like so anything that heats up basically, as well as my brushes. And then up here, we're going to move to like the other hair accessories. So we have treatments, dry shampoo minis. And I think this is dry shampoo minis as well hairspray minis sorry and then here is your oils and treatments and then we have another this is just like a random drawer right here so there's not a whole lot <laughs> there is a lot but I just don't know what to call that one the next one is dry shampoo and then more dry shampoo and then I have this thing here to clean your brushes with this thing is really cool it just looks like a little rake and it really does a good job of cleaning your brushes so if your brushes get like dirty not your makeup brushes but your actual hair brushes so if they get dirty you can use that so close that back up and then we'll zoom out so you can see a full view of what it all looks like. So over in this corner, that's how it looks. And then the big mirror, the window, the nail polishes, the perfumes back that way, all of my lovely cords hanging down back there, the basket, the dresser, I mean not the dresser, but the desk. And then we're back around to this way. So now we're going to move back around this way and we're going to come to one more stand to show you guys. So as we move around this way, we're back to the mirror. Here is all of my perfumes. Well, not all of them, but you've seen more. So these are, are the other perfumes. So they are down in these containers as well as setting up on these cute little cupcake pedestals. I think they're so cute. So I just love the perfumes like contained right here. My Kat Von D. The 
Sarah Jessica Parker one. This reminds me for some reason of New York. The scent of it just reminds me of New York for some reason. I don't know why, but I love it. So there are some more perfumes. And then if you look up here, here is the Sample Sunday stash. So there's where I keep all of my Sample Sunday supplies. They're all up there as well as my cute little shopping cart, which we're going to be using soon to do the shop my stash. So that is that area right there. So moving back down, now we're going to come to the stressor. So this is all cleansers. It's like face cleansers. This is hand and body creams. This one is not marked because it's again like a random drawer. And then we have more cleansers. And then we have day and night creams. We have masking. We have sheet masking. So this is completely full of sheet masks. So there's a ton of those that I need to use up. These are SPF and self tanning. So then we have serums, acne care, and then we have foundation and then nail care. So this is like all your clippers, your like different things that you use for your nails, like the wraps and stuff you can put on your nails. I just put that in the very bottom drawer here because I don't use those very often. The clippers I do, but everything else not really. So moving back up. So again, we started here and then you're gonna work your way around here. And then there's that doorway again that leads to my kids' rooms. And then we're back to the spot, back to where we started. So that is my tour of my room. Hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys. I just thought I would share it with you. I know you guys have been wanting to kind of see how I store everything. If you guys want to see everything in the drawers, let me know because I can totally do that because there's tons of different palettes in here. And then of course there's tons of different makeup. Oh yeah, by the way, that needs to be fixed here. I have no idea. I just noticed that the other day and I'm like, how did that get like that? I'm missing a piece. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> so anyway. This is what it looks like, my whole room. I hope you guys enjoy the little tour. I love my room, honestly. It's not like the giant room or anything like that, but it's perfect for what I use it for. It's just a beauty room. It's basically just to come in and put makeup on and to film videos and talk to you guys. So that is my room. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if you want to see a more in-depth like tour of my room, so like open the doors and everything, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.